Hello guys, welcome back to my Let's Play The Amazing Spider-Man Part 2 In the last episode we defeated this boss, but the robot boss And, and we And we said so we're going to continue with our Let's Play I did this, I did this first, I did this, I did this last episode. Well, I have to do it again. Sorry guys about that. I did, I did it. I did it, but some reason it's gone back to chapter one. There you go on chapter two. Finally, <laughs> let's continue. So, my fellow biologists are responsible. Those vultures. I wonder if Michael Morbius led the charge. Nice enough guy, but no one else seemed more interested in my research. Always insisted I focus on bats instead of reptiles for some reason. Uh, no Batman out there, Doc. That's just ridiculous. There is a rat, though. And that rhymes, anyway. I'll bet that one's particularly contagious. You see, it's not the new cross species themselves that alarm me so much as the deadly virus that's resulted as a side effect. And you say it's infected half my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alistair Smythe and his band of killer robots? To destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, you don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? What are you talking about? I'm gonna get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from his cage? Who's the crazy one here? <laughs> I'm through discussing this. Time to make a decision. Wait. If you do this, you must promise me. No matter what happens, when it's all over, you must bring me back here. Now. Before my medication wears off and I realize how insane this situation really is. As soon as I get this door open, you run as fast as you can, okay? Right. Got it. So, so guys, I'm just gonna 
We're just on chapter 2 now and we sorry I didn't talk on the sub on the talking bit because I need to be quiet on the talking bit so I I can't hear. Oh this is the best bit. This is the best bit. like the one. Connor's getting time off for good behavior. Hey, get away from there! <laughs> Whoa! Jesus no. Christ! It's emergency unlock! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I can't override it! Patients can leave their rooms! This what is the your fuck? fault! You gotta help me! I have what to the, help what you! What the shit? You tased me, oh bro! What the hell are you even doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, <laughs> I'll help you clean up this mess. But make sure your friends don't shoot me in the back. Shoot you right now! Get out of here! I'm going. Just don't expect a friend request anytime soon. So where am I supposed to go? Sorry guys, I'm stuck on this bit. Oh. Oh, I've got it now. Fight! 
a man. Take that corridor and turn left. I'll meet you there. Hey, wait. Guess he knows his way around this place. Time to get these guys in their cells and play nurse to the injured. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's jump ahead. I'll be there. I check the security monitors. Looks like the corridor's clear. Good. At least some of the doors are still locked. Get tired of the circus. Reopener, the call record is disabled. Oh no. That's Dan, Spider Boy. Huh? He's the one who would talk to back behind your back. Oh! Conspire! Conspire boy! Oh! I'm stuck. We went in this basement. What? Why are you crying? Just stay there, pal. Oh my God! Two more trees. Oh, what a shot in the head! What a punch in the head! Beneficial to your mental Alicia! Alicia! Wow! Hey, come back! You know, you can thank me by getting back to your cell! Trust. Oh, you don't need 
Let's go see Dr. Colors. Seems like it's your turn to let me through. Let's go in the space, man. Go, go, Spidey. Oh, I remember this, but it's a shotgun. <laughs> I need to restart that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know why I did restart it. Seems like it's your turn to let me through. Do the computer body. Oh shit. What the what the fuck bitch? Hang on, Doc. I'm on it. Oh no. We did it! I thought we were done for. It's a lot easier breaking in than breaking out. Looks like everyone's breaking out. Great. I'll have to deal with them later. 
Come on, Doc. Where are we headed? As much as I'd like to take a vacation, we need to get back to my apartment. Cops. Of course. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt, Connors. So, so chapter two, guys. Sorry guys. That's funny. service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I'm house-sitting for the summer. Mm, I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab in the sewer. Uh, this will do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, over here. I guess we start with getting whatever equipment you need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kind of old, but it works. A few books for reference over there, not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there. And the television. Guess we should see if we've made the news. We're stunned today when Kirk Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Belloid Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. Now, back to <sighs> I guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc, if you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we going to need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. But it won't be easy to locate. No problem there. I broke into Oscorp once. I can do it again. Peter, be careful. 
If Oscorp was continuing my work in secret, we don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? You do remind me of him. Your father. Oh, uh, Gwen's calling. Pete. Gwen, I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of person. It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. Can you bring my father back? Gwen. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I, I had no choice. But he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to Oscorp's archive facility. Just hold on a little while longer. I'm on my way. Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. Uh, Smythe says he's working on a solution. I'm going to get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. Gwen's been through a lot. I murdered her father, Peter. You didn't kill anyone. It was the lizard. I want to believe you. Let's make Gwen believe it. Alright guys, so we so we in Spider-Man's living room. City. Wait, what are these things? Oh yeah, I was working on those before everything went down. I call them my spider tracers. Long story short, if I stick this on a police antenna, I should be able to listen to everything they say. Should? I haven't exactly had time to try them out yet. No time like the present though, huh? I'll make a detour on the way to Oscorp Archives. So, Alright guys. Alright guys, we're turning off chapter 2. I'll see you guys in the next video.